I charged for nearly nothing at home and I just had to pay $200 to drive from one city to another. That's expensive. The averages are the same in Australia, right? Obviously, petrol is even more, diesel are even more expensive in Australia than they are in the United States. CNET took data from Tesla, who obviously have the largest fast charging network in the world, and they charge an average of 50 cents per minute versus 17 cents at home. So yeah, it's quite a bit more expensive. This is a popular myth created in the United States and Australia that charging with just public fast charging stations is more expensive than filling up your internal combustion, your petrol, gasoline, or diesel car. A lot of people think this, and even a lot of electric car owners believe this is the case. They think, wow, oh, I just paid so much money to charge my EV. It must be more expensive than gasoline or petrol. It's not actually true. I've been saying this for a while now because I actually look at the numbers and I look at the, my, my cost when I do go on road trips. It's really not accurate. Now, this new data isn't accurate either. This new data that shows that it's cheaper to charge your EV with DC public fast charging stations than it is to fill up your internal combustion car with petrol or diesel, it's not accurate. And the reason is because, well, most people don't DC fast charge all the time. What they'll do is if they go on a road trip, what do you do, guys, before you go on a road trip if you own an EV? You charge it at home the night before, right? Yeah, you charge it at home, you get it to 100% because you're going to go on a road trip, you want to have as much range as you can get. So actually, that's pretty cheap to do that. It's much, much cheaper. In fact, for me, it's it's generally free. I generally charge it on solar during the day. But for most people, still, you charge it at home, it's much cheaper. And this study doesn't include that information. This is purely, if you just used DC charges all the time, it's still cheaper. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. So here are the questions, right? Charges and not charging at home. People say, well, if you don't have an ability to charge your EV at home, you shouldn't buy an EV. It's crazy to do that then. Well, that's not actually true. A study has found that using only public EV charges and not charging at home is still cheaper than buying gas or petrol for a regular car. Now I say all petrol, petrol and gas are the same thing, but um, obviously not everyone knows that. CNET conducted a survey actually looking at how much money people spend on gasoline versus the cost of charging an EV via a public charger. These numbers are pretty similar in Australia as well. In fact, gasoline is, is definitely cheaper in the United States than Australia. While charging at home is quite cheap, for me it's free, for most people it's probably close to free, considering 4 million Australians have solar, it's always been hit or miss when it comes to public charges. But CNET found some interesting results in its study. They showed a fascinating price difference between paying for gas versus paying for recharging an electric car. To work out the cost, CNET used government data, sources, and AAA fuel prices to map out the monthly charging and fueling costs. The data they collected made, well, it's quite interesting. According to their results, the average mile, miles per gallon in America is 25. An EV requires, on average, three miles per kilowatt hour. Now, you can get more than that with some EVs, but that's the average. Charging at home costs 17 cents on average per kilowatt hour versus an average of $3.16 per gallon of gasoline. That means that charging at home can cost around $70 US a month for an EV versus $158 total for an internal combustion car. Now, that's obviously assuming you have no solar and you don't charge at times when the electricity is really cheap, like between 12 p.m. at night and 5 a.m. in the morning. A lot of places around the world give you super cheap charging at that point in time. So that's just general charging you know, on average $70 for the EV versus $158 for the internal combustion car. But it's a public charging cost that's actually quite interesting because even though it's more expensive, it's still cheaper than gasoline. Pricing, of course, is up to the owners of the charging stations. Many of them are independently owned. However, CNET took data from Tesla, who obviously have the largest fast charging network in the world, and they charge an average of 50 cents per minute versus 17 cents at home. So yeah, it's quite a bit more expensive. But of the charging available, DC charging is faster 
and on average cost $10 to $30 per session. AC public charging obviously can be a lot cheaper, costing sometimes only a couple of dollars. But you know, not everyone's going to be able to do AC public charging. Even if you're factoring in though the increase in public charging costs, as in DC fast charging costs, an electric car actually still costs less to refuel than a regular car as per the data from CNET. And they compared, basically they're averaging out electricity costs across the United States and averaging out gasoline costs across the United States to work out these numbers. So this is maybe necessarily not the case for everyone, but it is the case for the average across the United States. CNET worked out that on average, it could cost around $1,900 per year to refuel an internal combustion car. But for an EV, the average is actually a lot less. In fact, it's $848 per year, meaning you'd save on average $1,050 US dollars per year. Imagine if you invested $1,050 US dollars per year into the stock market and you kept doing that for 20 years. Uh, yeah, as long as you didn't pick some losers, you'd do pretty well, I reckon. That's a huge saving and one of the biggest benefits that awaits an owner of an EV. You can save a lot more money than that though if you've got solar on your roof and just charge it with, elect- with, with your solar panels. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Is this a, an experience that you've had? Now I know that it's anecdotal, people's individual experiences and obviously the, the case is sometimes we kind of feel like I think it's an emotional thing. People often say, well, well, I charge for nearly nothing at home and I just had to pay $200 to drive from one city to another. That's expensive. So you have a bit of an emotional reaction to the fact that you just had to pay for it when you don't usually have to pay. And I think that's part of what kind of distorts the experience. People say, oh, EV fast charging is expensive. It's more than gasoline. It's more than petrol. But I think it's just an, more of an, not always, but usually more of an emotional reaction to the fact that you don't, usually it's free. You don't have to pay for it. And all of a sudden you're paying for it. You're thinking, oh, this is, this kind of sucks. The averages are the same in Australia, right? Obviously petrol is even more, diesel are even more expensive in Australia than they are in the United States. And electricity is actually even cheaper. Fast charging is, is about the same cost as well. So yet yeah, averages out that on average, on, on the average trip in Australia, it's also cheaper to drive with an electric car, even if you don't have the ability to charge it at home. What's your experience? Let me know in the comments.